Hey guys, Matt Scientist here today, and I'm trying my hand at a theory on Life is Strange. Life is Strange has the player for the story of Max Caulfield, a student photographer who unexpectedly gains the power of rewinding time. He used this power to save Chloe Price, your friend since childhood multiple times. All these definite time rewinds in the storyline culminate in a tornado set on destroying Arcadia Bay. In the end, you're given the choice of sacrificing Chloe or saving Chloe. Today, I'm going to try to convince you there's only one choice. Saving Chloe Price. Now, now before I continue with my theory on Life is Strange, I want to say, when I first started typing this theory up. My first thought was to explain the probability of Chloe and Max being at the lighthouse as part of my explanation, but decided to abandon it because it had no relevance to the theory that I'm trying to construct for you guys today. Now, throughout the story, there are two other timelines created by Max in her preventing her father's death which in turn results in Chloe Price slowly dying in a wheelchair. Not a great day there. <laughs> um, and the uh, San Francisco timeline, which has Max at the museum. In all three timelines, the tornado occurs. Like, even the San Francisco one. I would, I would say twice is a coincidence, three times. In, in different situations, makes it a definite event. And yes, I do realise that in these timelines, that Max uses her power to create the timelines. These timelines, the timelines created help explain a theory name, the uh, Many Worlds Theory. The Many Worlds Theory states that from one option, multiple timelines can be created. So, like, in a relationship, you can, you can, like, you can get married or you can get into a breakup. And then, but, also, these multiple timelines can also converge back to a, a point. So... In, in that situation, you might end up with a divorce or kids. The divorce, basically, is like a complicated breakup, so they're almost exactly the same thing. In Life is Strange, this one point of time is the tornado. Secondly, the second point, Max Caulfield discovers her powers in the bathroom where Chloe is shot by Nathan Moments before Chloe's encounter and eventual death, Max sees a butterfly flutter out of the open window. She was going to take a photo of it, but it got away before it. To me, it appears to be a reference to the butterfly effect, which, according to Until Dawn, a horror game, a horror survival interactive game, is a tiny butterfly flaps its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane from now. However, in Life is Strange, the tornado town hits the town within the week. Quote, and this is by Max. October 11th. Is this Friday? That's four days away, according to Max. How can such a storm be possible according to the butterfly effect? So, the game presents the idea of chaos theory, which does work, and it su says that the tornado and Max are supposedly linked by chaos theory. That's why she sees the tornado. That's why she has her time rewind powers. And the butterfly effect is a part of the chaos theory. Max's first encounter with the tornado was at the lighthouse before Max even had her powers though, so that is a questionable point there. Her, 
Her decisions of rewinding time do manipulate the butterfly effect and her advantage and the and affect the original timeline. Despite rewinding time though, her first ever premonition, again, was before her powers were discovered, rendering the idea of the tornado and Max being linked due to chaos theory mute. <laughs> Other things like the snow, that is really random, the dead birds, yeah, and double moon are more likely to be linked to Max by chaos. So when Chloe says that the storm is here for her, she is wrong. She, she is just wrong. If you enjoy, anyway, that is my theory on Life is Strange. If you enjoyed my attempt to explain the possibly indefinite event of a tornado in Life is Strange, and you have your own ideas on a game that you want to see covered by me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of the next video. Hit the like button and leave your comments. There is, there's actually more content to talk about Life is Strange and around Chaos Theory. So next time, so I will see you next time for more Life is Strange. Mad scientists 